How to make a Halo 2 Decade Surfer. It's so easy, anyone can do it. First, you need to meet the minimum system requirements. These are what they are. Your computer needs to meet them or exceed them to run the server well. And for the CD key, you can use your Halo 2 PC CD key. It's on the yellow sticker on the case. First, put the game inside of the CD drive of the computer you are using as a server. Next, hit Install Decade Server for Halo 2. If you're on Server 2003, the setup will just start automatically. It's going to take a while, so be patient. When Okay, it's almost done. Okay, it's done now. It will open up the README. Then you can go to Start, Run, and then type CD slash Program Files slash Microsoft Games slash Halo 2 Dedicated Server. Now type h2 server dash create service dash live. Then it will tell you that the service was created successfully and that you need to log out and log back in to manage it. Then go to My Computer and double click C, Program Files, or on 64 bit Program Files x86, Microsoft Games, Halo 2 Decade Server. Now create a shortcut to hit H2 Admin and drag it to the desktop. Now, now right click it and hit Properties. Now, after the target, add dash live. If it was working, you should see that. But before you host the game, you need to install updates first. Here is how. Go to Microsoft.com slash game slash Halo 2 for the newest dedicated server update. You're, you're going to need it anyway, even if Halo 2 is already installed, because because Halo 2, the automatic update, does not automatically update the server and the map editor as well, so you're going to have to download the update and install it manually. Now click Support at the bottom. Now click on Halo 2 for Windows Vista Latest Update and click Run. It shouldn't take that long to download depending on your internet connection, so so if but if you have slow internet you should wait a while.
Okay, it's almost done. And it's... Now hit run and it should be like updating. When it's done updating, then you will need to update the Games for Windows Live runtime. Go to www.gamesforwindows.com Now, now when it loads, you scroll down and click download. Now click download again, and then go to the top and click download file when the bar comes up. Now click run, and when it's done downloading, install it, and then you can now host a game server. But now, before you can host though, you need to make a server account. Here's how. Go to xbox.com. Click join, click sign in, and then where it says join Xbox Live, enter the email address you are going to use for the server. When you do that, it will then take you to another box where you can sign up and enter all the info. When it asks you to enter all the info, for your gamer tag, enter the name of the server that you're going to you put set up. Like if you want to call your server a awesome server, you set your gamer tag up to be a awesome server. When it's done, start h2 admin. Then you should do this to host an online game. Type live key and then type in your product key for Halo 2. Then press enter. Now type live auto sign in and then type in your email. Press enter and it will ask you to enter in the password. Then you can now host a game. When it if it looks something like this, after you type status, then you set up the server correctly. Congratulations. You've now set up a Halo 2 dedicated server. In part two you will learn how to manage your server and set up playlists as well. Coming soon.